test. Uh, we have a couple of Greek items to try. We're in our hostel here, so, and this is like a communal kitchen with all these other people, so it's clear right now, so we gotta be quick. We have fresh Greek olives. And you know we could not go to Greece without trying authentic Greek feta cheese, you guys. So first up, we have authentic Greek olives. Give them a shot. I don't even like olives, but... I love olives. I had to get these. We're in Greece, so... There are pits in them, so careful. Oh. Not bad. It's kind of like people are coming. It's kind of... I don't know, it's salty. Squishy. I can't eat this on its own. It's too salty. I don't know, it's, it's like pickles or something. Yeah, it's too much. It's too salty. Great olives. I give it a one thumbs up for what it is, not liking olives. I give it a single thumbs up because I think it's a good quality. It's just way too salty. Next up. Got a Greek feta. Got to do the Got to do, gotta do feta. So you guys, this is the staple of the Greek diet. This is something I've been- The staple of the diet, dang. This is something I've been looking forward to for the longest. Let's give the feta a try. Let's give the feta a try. Oh my gosh. You lost weight. Hmm. The taste, creamy, salty, juicy, moist. Crumbly slightly, but I don't know if I'm just buying like poor grade feta back home or if it's just like that much stuff added to it to make it garbage, but this is like you can taste the pureness, the freshness in it. Yeah, maybe it's, that's the difference. Let me show you how much we got for two we got this for two euros at 50 cents. We've already cut some off, but plus we, this. We got we got this brick of feta. At the store, like. That is not a bad deal at all. Greek feta cheese. <laughs> probably just watch us eat feta. We probably watch us eat some olives, but now we got a few like pre made delicious things. We have some cor. corimbithas. Okay. Oh, and then we also have baklava. Let me just say, this is gonna be real kind of ratchet and like unprofessional. We don't have any plates to properly plate everything and make it look nice. I'm just holding it in my hand. We don't even have forks. We're on the stairs. So bear with us. Mm. There's any more of the powder down there, soft and squishy, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's more cookie texture. Oh. There's some kind of nuts in here. It's kind of nuts in there. A but lot of powder sugar. Translates to like a Greek butter cookie with powder sugar, almonds, or something inside. It looks very good. Buttery. Mm. Thumbs up. For sure. Thumbs up. Two thumbs. Two thumbs. You know what? I'm holding the camera with the other hand, but I'm also giving it two thumbs up. I got two forks so we can do this proper. Let's try this baklava. Baklava. I just want to start by saying I'm very, very, very excited to try this baklava. And if you guys could really only see, we'll try to do close-ups, how flaky it light and how like drenched in syrup this thing is. And it looks like there's crushed pistachios on top. Let us try baklava. Oh, Cheers. Wow. Whoa. This is nothing like what I've had in the past. Back in the little Wisconsin. Syrupy, sweet, buttery. It's so rich. Yeah. I would love to eat all of this in one sitting. It's absolutely delicious. This deserves its own scale. I'm going to I'll have both thumbs ready. What do we have next? Chicken you. We got the beast. Chicken. Did he say one was pork? You know, you didn't order pork. I thought he said something about pork. I knew I didn't, but hey, you know what? I heard this is the best place to get it in all of Athens. It was all a five-minute walk to get to it. And it was the cheapest. Two, 
euros for two euros. <laughs> Traditional style, if you tell me want everything on, it actually comes with potatoes, which are french fries, onion, tomato, uh, tzatziki sauce, of course, and chicken that's been on the grill, like here, this uh, little video here. And they just shave it down, man. It's so, it's so it looks good. So here we are for the chicken noodle authentic experience. Oh, oh, man. Stop the cameras. Stop the rolling. Stop it. I always say this. They do not prepare you for this at all. Let's talk about the flavors, though. How fresh this tomato and the, the onion is, and the, the, the fries, and the potato that gives it that extra oomph, that extra texture, which is also seasoned. The, the chicken is so tender, it's juicy, it's a little salty, it's got all these flavors. It's been cooking for hours and hours, and it's just, it comes through. And the pita, and the pita itself is light, fluffy, it's buttery. You get pitas, you get wraps, you get guidos back home. We've been calling them gyros, but they call them guidos, so. I'm getting these back home and no comparison. Like, like, no comparison. Like, you think, you think you've had something and then you have, you have the real thing in this life, damn. Since I also agree that this doesn't really compare to what we've had back home, what's the biggest difference that you think? Fresh ingredients, man. I don't have, again, both thumbs available right now, but they both are going up right now. Two thumbs up. But real quickly, let me just say, you think when you come to Greece, you think of an authentic gyro as being with land. Everywhere in Athens, we've seen in Greece so far, it's made with chicken. There's an option for lamb, but that will come in, as a, in the form of a kebab versus a gyro. So that's just something different that I didn't expect. It was caught me by surprise. So when you order a gyro, the default is chicken. Chicken or, chicken or pork. But chicken or pork, yeah. Man, thanks for rocking out with us and, and putting up with this uh, every taste test so far for this country. It's been in a different room. Right now we're in a stairwell at a hostel. There's nowhere private to do this, but thanks for like bearing with us. And at the end of the day, we just want to get this out because it doesn't matter where we film, if it's in the closet, or the trunk of a car, or, you know. We have we have to do one for this, so appreciate it, man. Peace out.